if you're fishing bait using this egg loop knot, it actually helps to have a little piece of yarn on here, in my opinion. I like to go and take a little strand of yarn, uh, even fuzzy yarn, uh, if you get it wet, twist it a little bit, and just tie an overhand knot. Okay, so you just have a piece of yarn like that. You can do one overhand, two overhand. I usually just do one, uh, pull, be able to pull it tight enough. It'll stay on there just fine. And then go and cut it. So now you have just a little piece of yarn like that that's on your line where the egg loop itself is. And there's a couple of reasons why I like having that. One is when you have that there like that, even if this knot slides up and you lose your bait, it's time to put some new bait on. You can actually just grab this yarn and it'll just pull. See that? Just pulls right out. Okay, so uh, and then when you put your eggs on and you put the loop around the eggs and then you pull on it, it just cinches right back up. Okay, again, you grab this yarn. Boom, easy to pull the loop out. The other reason why I like having the yarn like that, even when I'm using the bait and I like to have it right there, it uh, if the bait falls off, I still have something there and I th think that it holds the scent a little bit. So, got your rig like that. Time to put eggs on, just pull the yarn, so you got a loop, put the eggs on, put the loop around the eggs, and then you pull on this, the yarn goes right up against the eggs. The egg falls off when you're casting or something, or you get a couple drifts and you just have a little piece of the bait left on there. Yarn's still there, and it's got a little bit of smell, I think.